hello everybody welcome back to my channel Rudy Tate before we go any further into this video I need y'all to subscribe I need y'all to turn on that notification bell and I need y'all to watch this video all the way through stop playing with me but y'all know what today's video is about it's about this February boxy charm box baby but I was not too satisfied and I'm gonna tell y'all why got my box and one of my boxes one of the product boxes in here were open that's one um it didn't have the little cushioning so if i had any glass in it it could have broke so that's two number three it did not have a description card so i have to have my macbook over here so that i can read everything off to y'all from the computer now let's go ahead and jump into this video so in the beginning of my makeup career, I loved sponges. I loved beauty blenders because it was just hyped up. But knowing how my skin reacts and how I'm like more breakout prone using these, like even if you wash them, it still holds oils, it still holds dead skin, it still holds bacteria. And I was just really tired of it. So that's why I started using the disposable wedges. But looking at this, they have a little small one, so it's easier to like blend under your eyes. But what they're saying on the back is there's a detail blender, a precision blender, and a powder blender. You know, honestly, I use the beauty blenders the same way regardless of what size, if I'm being honest. But, you know, it is what it is. And you want to make sure that your beauty blenders are actually soft. You don't want them to be too hard rough or too stiff like this one but overall this small one this one and this one were really nice but now i'm going to read the description off of my computer because i don't have a description card this set of sponges provides a full array of applications each sponge is built with different densities water retention rates and shapes these sponges are the ideal complement to your brush set to obtain a perfect complexion and impeccable look. So I ain't gonna knock the beauty blenders, you know, to eat your own. I really, I have my own preferences. If you want to get beauty blenders, go right ahead. Like, you know, just for me and so that I have my sanity and not breaking out continuously all the time, then I'm gonna use those disposable blenders. But if you get this set, it's $40 and the brand is Luxie. So, my next product is for some under eye care. So, this is some skincare products that we got. So, if y'all see me looking to the side, I'm reading off my computer because they didn't give me a description card. Um, It is the QMS Medi Cosmetics Intensive Eye Care, and it's 15 millimeters. I used it when I first got it, and it was really nice. It was really hydrating, very dewy. I love dewy, I love hydration, I love being refreshed. Although we are in our young, mid-20s, or even if I have people that are watching me that are like in their 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever, you always wanna make sure that you have some eye care with you because that's the thinnest part of our skin. It's the most delicate part. So i highly recommend adding some eye cream to your skincare regimen to keep up with that because you don't want any crow's feet you don't want any bags you don't want anything bad like that the active ingredient complex of this enhanced eye care helps to minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles also has hydration and lifting the skin natural silk and oh i don't know these words extracts provide um oh Okay, so it provides a powerful anti-aging combination that helps boost elasticity, elasticity, smooth out wrinkles and reduce dark circles and puffiness. So that's really good. And they said that you can use this morning and night. So that's really good too. And the price of this small little bottle is $132. Okay, now let's scroll down so that I can look for the next description of my next product because they didn't give me a description card. I'm salty. This is by Pure, the brand Pure. If y'all remember, I used that setting powder by them and it is amazing. I love it so much. One of my other SD besties was telling me about that. They're a really good brand. They are, I think it's blue light sensitive. They're really good with that. Okay, so I'm going to read the description of this one off of Pure's website, okay? Give your skin a pick-me-up with this energizing and skin-nourishing primer. 
Use the foreign one correcting primer to perk up the look of your skin and prep it for flawless looking makeup application. Packed with good for your skin ingredients such as probiotics, aloe, caffeine, and coconut water for your best and worst skin days. And then the product features. So we have probiotics help restore balance to skin's natural microbiome. I hope I said that right. For a healthier looking complexion, caffeine helps stimulate the skin's natural metabolism and reduces the appearance of under eye bags. Brightening ingredients reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation and discoloration. Serotonin reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Aloe soothes the skin and reduces the appearance of redness and squalene and coconut water hydrate the skin. So it is one fluid ounce and it's vegan friendly, okay? I know there are some of y'all that really care about that kind of stuff and a lot of the beauty brands are going towards that right now. I'm sorry, my face is itching and I can't scratch or I'm going to remove my makeup, I have to pack. It's also free of gluten, parabens, fragrances, sulfates, silicone, alcohol, and latex. So if you have any allergies to latex, you're good to go with this one. If if you're sensitive, no fragrances and all that other stuff, you know, your skin is going to flourish and it's not going to look old, pretty much. Hopefully, this is the right price, but it is on their website. So this is $33. And I mean, that's the price of a lot of prestige brands, primers. So that's really good. And you know, I love me like a good primer. And if it's good with hydration, then I'm definitely going to use it. But reading the ingredients, it also looks like it's really good for skincare as well. So if you wanted to incorporate this as like your serum, then I would recommend using this in your skincare. Okay, on to the next one. This is Siot. Hopefully I'm saying it right. And um, I know y'all see this. It's only ripped more because I had to open it, but it was janky and I'm not happy. And y'all gonna see the next product too, maybe. Yeah, y'all will see it. Okay, so I've gotten one of these products before. I'm sorry, I've gotten um, products from this brand before. It's, I honestly like them as a brand. They're really cool. It's a setting powder, but it's also a translucent. Now the only translucent powder that I have is the one that I was telling y'all about in the beginning, which was my, um, what was it? Um, I forgot. Oh, here, I'm sorry. Y'all, my memory is so boo-boo, extremely boo-boo. But this is what the powder looks like. I'll definitely have to read the reviews and see how it is. Smells like plastic. No, I'm upset. Usually setting powders have a really nice smell to it. So I kind of just smelled it for no reason. Okay, so this is your everyday vacay coconut setting powder. Ooh, that sounds nice actually. Locking your makeup for long lasting wear with Ciot London's everyday vacay coconut setting powder. Delicately coconut fragrance. To oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. They say it smells like coconut. I don't really like the smell of coconut, but I want to see if I'm gonna like this one. Cause you know, different, I don't know. Everything doesn't always have the same scent, like lavender. Every time you find some lavender, it's either too strong or it's too light. I can never find a good, well, I actually have found a good one. It's from Whole Foods. Okay, so maybe uh, that plastic smell I was smelling was the coconut. It has a coconut fragrance to take you back to a beach vacay every day. So it is a lightweight loose powder and smooths over makeup for a crease-free soft focus finish with no flashback. See, that's what I like to see. But I'm gonna look at these reviews and see if people say they got a flashback. People saying it smells so amazing, what? Am I just, am I losing my senses? Okay, so someone said half full powder again. It is brightening, but definitely drying. Not, and then someone else said, not the biggest fan of powder, but the quality is good. Someone else said, love this powder. Someone else said, I love this setting powder, especially the coconut smell coconut smell wear so pretty much everything's kind of the same thing and the price of this one is $22 so one thing I do like about CI is that they're not too expensive like they're a good price range okay and the last product that we got that was look 
that's how I got it. This is how I got my eyeliner. Luckily, it doesn't look like it was used. But, you know, I opened my box. I'm like, what the heck? I was so upset. Like, I'd be so excited. Like, the presentation and just putting everything together counts. So the fact that they kind of just threw it together really bothered me because, like, I don't know. It's the presentation of it all, you know? I may be making a big deal out of this, but that was just very unprofessional. But on the bright side, this is Kat Von D, baby. And you know, Kat Von D be making sure waterproof, making sure that your tattoos are covered. She got you hooked up whenever you need it. All right, so this is her Kat Von D, well, KVD Vegan Beauty Cake Pin Liner. Unprecedented creaminess. Intensely rich color and budge resistant. Waterproof long wear in a 100% vegan eyeliner. So this is what it looks like out of the package. And it's more so like a pencil. So if anything, I'd probably use it on my waterline, like my bottom waterline, or I could use it on my top if I don't feel like, you know, having a liquid and I can just kind of smudge it out. Um, but I really like it. Um, there's nothing much I could really say about it. The name of it is Trooper Black. Oh, come on. And this is, wow, ooh. Nice. Okay, and the price of that one is $19. No surprise there. Kat Von D stuff, like, it really just depends on what products you get. Her foundation definitely is up there because that's some full coverage, all right? Like, I actually think I have it over here. Okay, well, I thought I had it in this drawer. I actually do not. But I'll read the reviews on this one, too. Uh oh, okay. Um, Someone said, Kat Von D, perfection as always. Someone said, yeah, no. Another person said, I don't need any more eyeliner. And someone else said, not for me. Dang. I don't think anybody's too happy because every time you get a box, even with my, when I had Ipsy, I would always get eyeliner. I'm like, I don't need any more of this. And if y'all are gonna send me some, can y'all send me some liquid? Y'all keep sending me pencils. <sighs> but overall, that is my February 2020 box. Um, Like I said, I said in the beginning, I wasn't too happy with the stuff that I got, but I actually am happy with the things I got. It was really nice stuff. Um. I just wasn't happy with the presentation and how it was sent to me. And if I if it happens again, then I'm probably gonna unsubscribe because that's just ridiculous. Like, you make sure to take our money out on time. And then on top of that, they took a really long time to send it this time. <sighs> sorry for the rant, sorry for seeming like I'm just, you know, over it, but I was really disappointed with this month's box. But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, please. Turn on that notification bell. Share this video on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram if you can. Leave comments below if you're curious about anything or if you have, you know, questions or if you have any, I don't know, if you have any um, feedback, if you have any ideas of, or, you know, if you need any help or any tutorials, any of that stuff. Um, and also remember, I am, an esthetician so I do makeup I do waxing and at the moment I'm actually working at amazing lash studio if y'all would like for me to do like a how was it with my training for amazing lash studio I can definitely do that because who sis but thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next video peace out Thank you.